Do you want one? Where, which one do you want? Come here. Do you want one? Come here. Do you want that one? I got a couple more. You want some? I got them all in my pocket right here. Okay? <laughs> Wait a minute, the squirrel's back. Come here. Baby G, come here. Come here, baby G. Come here. Come here, sweetie. Here you there go. you go. Okay, we're That'll back. That'll keep her busy for a while. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hey everybody, Jay Christos, Channel Say I Do Forever, and we are so excited about this video. It's cool out here, obviously. Flannels are on. <laughs> getting a little cold. <laughs> and we are going to do the garden tour. Uh, Krista's got a lot to show you, so I will follow her around. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, she'll lead the way. Well, and the reason is, is because we don't know how much time we have. Right. The weather <laughs> is cold, obviously. Yeah, our 10-day forecast um, kind of keeps showing like it's going to dip down and freeze, and then it pulls out last minute, and we kind of have been, it teases us. We've been staying um, around. Here she comes again. Let me give her a peanut. Oh, well, she's got some. Um... Anyways, where was I? I'm getting distracted by squirrels. Our, that's funny. <laughs> our, weather has, our weather has been going just crazy. Like Yeah, well, it's slowly <coughs> dipping. And so our night times have been around in the 40s, and sometimes they're uh, showing the temperature might hit 38, 34, but then all of a sudden it kind of goes back into the 40s. Yeah, so. and then, it, then it goes back to nice. Um, today has been We've a been decent lucky. day. It's been breezy like right now, but other than that, Mm -hmm. it's kind of a bad. nice fall <clears throat> weather yeah but we thought you know any time now we could have a freeze so we better i want to just kind of document it even the, the good the bad the ugly uh, maybe some things i want to change so i can actually watch this yeah. <laughs> for next year say don't do that and do yeah. that <laughs> stuff like that so exactly uh, if you want to walk around with me yep let's do it and let's just kind of show where we're at the the chaos of the garden right now. It's okay. kind of in the end of summer, beginning of fall chaos. <laughs> it's decent out here though, so. Yeah, here I'm we talking go. about all the. All, all the. the <laughs> a lot of okay, weeds. Guys. <laughs> We are Jay and Krista, and this is Say I Do Forever. We have raised our family, and now we are empty nesters. <laughs> we are enjoying life together, taking on new challenges, going on adventures, and exploring new things. We love gardening and working on projects <laughs> together. Throughout our life, we have been incredibly blessed. Now it's our turn to bless others. Join us on this next adventure. This, this is, is Say, Say I, I Do, do forever. forever. Okay, let's first, before we leave anywhere, let's talk about the uh, coleuses. Um, amazing this year. Uh, I am excited, but soon they will be gone and the asparagus fern and it's not a perennial i don't think either so i think everything you see here is going to be gone and the elephant ears as soon as the first frost i'll pull bulbs and store them inside so we're just kind of waiting for that kind of enjoying every moment you know kind of like every day i come out and go they're still here i can still enjoy them <laughs> And I gotta figure out about propagating them. I might try to save some in the greenhouse for next year, too. So I'm I'm gonna work on that. Um, this year we won't have gnats in the house like we did. We tried to save a bunch of the plants indoors the last two years, and then Jay says about mid winter when he's like, "That's it, I'm done." <laughs> get, get. We have a very small house, so we don't have a place for them, and then the gnats get kind of crazy. But. <laughs> What do you do? <laughs> and uh, our uh, Japanese uh, maple is doing really good. It did get a little dry on the edges, and I think you're gonna see throughout. Uh, we had 
kind of a really hot summer and um, we also didn't have a lot of time for watering. We're only allowed to water on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And often those were days that we had to be gone and we don't have an automatic watering system. I know, but <laughs> we do it the old fashioned way. So um, anyways, so sometimes it was our fault that they didn't get as good of water, <laughs> but that's okay. So come on this way and then you're gonna see Jay's actually working on a video for the future. It's coming up soon. He's been putting together uh, Chance's Arbor, so stay tuned for that. He, he has to do that. He has to do the garden beds. So we got a mess here. That's what's going on. A little sneak peek <laughs> of what's coming. And, um, oh, you have to show my beautiful uh, mums. These ones are about to go, but the red ones, I don't remember them being red last year. For some reason, I thought they were kind of a rust color, and I thought, well, it's okay. It's not beautiful, but it's okay. But they came back like a burgundy red, and then these ones are gonna pop out real soon um, into a real pretty pink. I'm excited for these. This one got really big, so I'm excited. Okay, my hanging basket did not have a good year. Usually, <laughs> every dun, year, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> let's just not talk about it. I didn't have time for a lot of things. So usually this thing is just massive. I didn't fertilize a lot of my plants this year. I just didn't stop to have the time to do things. I was sewing and taking care of brides, and then on the weekends we were um, doing stuff. So yeah, so there's some neglected stuff. And so that's on my check, like do you at the end of the year um, kind of make a list for yourself of, okay, I'm going to do better next year. I'm going to do this better next year. I'll do this better next year. Every year at the end, I think, oh, well, next year I'll do better. That's the one good thing about being in a winter uh, climate where you can go into winter in seasons. Um, and that is that at one point you can just say, well, <laughs> it's all going to freeze here in a couple weeks. You know what? Just let nature have its course and let it be messy <laughs> let it be what it what it is and we have a squirrel over here just begging for peanuts and i think i'm out i am out we're out of peanuts she can get some off the shelf you can get some off the shelf okay come on hey baby g you already had a whole bunch baby g you already had a ton Okay, so let's go in and see the craziness of the potage. And it's wild and it's fun and it's really full. And every spring, um, this is what I dream of it to be. And it always starts out so small and sparse. And this is like magic to me, even though it's just out of control. I haven't done any great um, weeding. Actually, there's so many plants. I don't even have weeds in this. There's so many plants. Let's uh, look at just the carrots. I have been enjoying so many carrots. Let me see if one of these is, I can pull it up. Let me see, some of them are smaller. Cause I've been pulling the big ones and every night for dinner. I'll pull this one. It may not be that big, but oh, it's not that big. But it's great for dinner to put in a stew or something. I'll put that right here. So I've been just popping up all every night. I just come in and get some carrots for dinner. Um, this is our um, cherry <coughs> tomato, which went completely wild. And um, these are supposed to be mini pumpkins. <laughs> I think they're gonna pull the whole arbor down. I mean, like, look at. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> I planted mini pumpkins, but I got big pumpkins. <laughs> Come around this side and see this big one hanging over here. Like the arbor is going to collapse. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. <laughs> but look at it, it's cozy in here. Look at back in here. <laughs> Come in here and just shoot out from it. It's so cute. <laughs> 
and just hit my head on that pumpkin. <laughs> One, two, three. It's so fun. There's a squishy one. I don't know what happened to that one. It was stuck between the the metal arbor. <laughs> and then I got peppers like crazy. These are dragon cayenne peppers. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but there they are. There's a bunch of them down in here that are actually more ripe. And then these are jalapenos. And bell peppers over there. And the uh, Alyssa is just so massive that I haven't even seen a single weed this year. <laughs> I don't know. You probably can count the alyssum as a weed, but it really kept everything completely back. And then these are, well, I got more peppers here, but then this is just filled with, like, I have eaten so many tomatoes. These are amazing. They're like a little medium. They're usually bigger than a cherry tomato and yet uh, smaller than a regular tomato. I think everything just did really good and went crazy this year. Okay, things I would change. I put a berry wine tomato back there. I could hardly get back there. Like, there's a pathway over there, but you can't even find it um, to harvest that. So I think next year, that's a no. <laughs> Don't do a, a berry wine or any kind of tomato back here. Um, this is a regular beef steak and it is it's starting to get a little diseased but remember our nighttime temperatures are dropping to 40 42 45 so the plants are starting to get that kind of um, it's like they know they start all the energy starts going to the roots or it just starts trying to quickly produce whatever it can um, so it's at that stage because around uh, the town, the trees are starting to turn colors, which is so pretty. Um, so I'm surprised this is doing as well as it is. Um, oh my gosh, I just found a cucumber that I, I've been looking, oh no, I saw two. And they're, uh oh, I never saw them. Oh no, look at that. I did not know that they were up there. Look at that one. I have been looking for cucumbers and I couldn't find any and they were you right there. You got one right here too. Where? Right here where the camera's at. Oh, the little guy. And then you got another one right there. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if those are too big. I might try them. Just, you think they'd be bitter? Maybe. We'll see. I can always try it. But, yeah. This is actually did really really well this year <laughs> i have eaten way too many vegetables and um of course this grapevine that we did not tell it it could go up this <laughs> and it just did anyway yeah look at <laughs> jay never even got to uh stabilize the arbor <laughs> but it's been through a couple wind storms i thought oh, it's going over it's going over and it didn't so this is the rose over here that i need to dig up and we're going to plant uh, to climb over that i brought that from my aunt's funeral up in orland california um so i brought that here it's a climbing rose and it's like a pink color and i want that's what i really want to go up and over um this so oh there's a squirrel <laughs> look at her what do you want? I don't have any more peanuts. I have to go. Okay, pause. I gotta go get some peanuts. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm armed and I have more peanuts. Let's go. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. There you go. <laughs> That's baby G. Okay. So this is not pretty anymore. <laughs> just um, 
things I will do differently this year. And um, we're next gonna, year. Next year. Things I'm going to do differently in spring of 2024. I want to trim this up and find something that kind of holds. You hear those sirens? Holy cow. Things I'm going to do differently in 2024 is I think we are going to um, do a better job with the raspberries or figure out something there. And we did move them back a little bit because they were kind of coming all the way out and our flower bed gets smaller and smaller the more they move. Um, the other thing is, is I think I am going to move a bunch of these flowers. That's another reason why I wanted to do a video before I did because I'm gonna start digging up the yard. I'm gonna start moving things and um, some of it is these lilies. They were so beautiful when they, in the spring, but they were all here and all kind of high and then they were over here. I wanna scatter them. I'd like this whole area to be more um, like just random flowers so that, and blooming at all different times. So like, um, I know those lilies bloom at a different time than these lilies. So I would kind of like it to be scattered, like one popping up at one time and then another one popping up. Um, look at my delphinium. <laughs> is that amazing? This is the second bloom. So this, it already bloomed in the spring and now, except for something knocked it over. So I did try to put a stake and that's not working, but I got a second bloom out of it. I'm so happy. Um, so I got to just do some rearranging around here and I want to, um, <coughs> kind of get the, um, irises. I'd like to weed through those, um, and kind of make them a little thinner. Um, wait, she's, I got another, I got another peanut. <laughs> what do you want? My goodness, we can't even take a radio. <laughs> Anyways, so that's my kind of vision for that. And I want to start now that, uh, now that we're about to have kind of our first frost, I'll we'll have to be cleaning up the uh, vegetable garden. And as soon as it frosts, I have to pull all that down. We'll be hauling that to the transfer station or trying to compost it where we can. We have a small yard. And then I want to turn this all the way into uh, kind of more like a, a meadow of uh, different kinds of flowers popping up. So that's my idea here. And the elephant ears, they didn't do as good this year, but I'm gonna tell you all of my, in the years past, um, I fertilized my pots a lot better. And this year, things just got neglected. This was a neglected year. So um, in the years past, they've grown like almost as tall as the fence. Um, this year they did not, but that's okay. They still look beautiful. As soon as the frost hits, I'll be uh, chopping, you know, as soon as the leaves die and everything, then I'll be chopping that off or letting it dry out and then storing that over the winter. And then, Jay, why don't you show your pond here? It's now wild and beautiful. <laughs> it is as wild and beautiful as it gets. So it's like, it's cool. It has really turned into a wild <laughs> kind of, I don't know, it just looks like it's just naturally growing, um, mainly because we haven't trimmed anything. I think it's just beautiful. It's just kind of gotten wild and fun. Uh, we've just kind of let it go because of time, but I think that gives it kind of a natural 
look like you'd find it out in the mountains somewhere which is cool it's, it's not like um we trimmed everything <laughs> perfect or anything we just let it go <laughs> yeah i agree it looks it looks good now yeah so let me oh i want to take you guys in the greenhouse and show you my experiment uh for the peppers oh and while we go there and while we go there or before i hit hit the greenhouse this is what we call a wild mess <laughs> this is weeds and it's like you know what it is what it is <laughs> and winter's starting to hit it you can see the plants are actually returning their energy to the roots um, or they're dying back if they're annuals they know that winter's coming so it is what it is <laughs> um the greenhouse my experiment has been very interesting um you guys saw the uh peppers in the garden the plants themselves were a lot smaller but in the garden i've gotten a lot more peppers number one we have the bees and all the the pollinators um, but number two one of the things that happened here in um, the greenhouse was that it got really warm and so the plants got really really big and tall um, but then we put a shade cloth because it was getting so hot that they weren't even uh, setting blooms it was too hot for them to set blooms or blossoms um, so we put a shade cloth over it um, but then I felt like they were just reaching for some Sun because then at that point it's nice and warm but they're not getting any sun because of the shade cloth. So now that the weather has cooled down a little bit, um, they bloomed, they are now putting on fruit. Um, they are doing so good. And I just today, they were so big and heavy that they were flopping everywhere. So today I just went through and staked them all up. I mean, look at the peppers that we have on that. Like I got three over here, bell peppers. And let's see, jalapenos are right in here somewhere. Here's some jalapenos. Um, I know there's some over here. Like look at this hole. Um, I haven't gotten any of the red peppers in here. So what does my experiment tell me? <laughs> that I get more produce when they're in the garden and they've got the heat and they've got the bees and they got everything. I get more produce, but the plants are smaller and my time with them is shorter. Like all of those bell peppers, as soon as it, it shows that there's gonna be a frost that night, I've gotta go out and pick them regardless of how big they are or what stage they're in. In here, as soon as it, um, as soon as it gets uh, cold, I just shut the door and it's about time to actually today I was cleaning this out because it is about time to um, move a lot of our plants on the patio I'll show you some of those here in a second it's about time to move those here because our temperature is getting so so cold at night that some of those plants aren't doing well let's uh, I'll show you which ones we have a bougainvillea and let's show you the the bougainvillea first oh here hello Oh, yeah. Here. There you go. <laughs> okay. Here's the bougainvillea. And I got it on clearance. Um, and I had one when I was a kid. So I was like, I really want one, but I know it won't stay here in our, uh, in our re region or our um, zone. But we're going to move it into... Um, the greenhouse and I think where I have at the back of uh, the tomato plant I'm going to actually end up midway as soon as I'm done with the tomatoes put this at the back back there and I'm gonna let it climb up and over and hopefully it will still be okay in the summer in there um, the bell peppers and the other peppers stayed all summer <laughs> long no matter how hot it got so um, I'm thinking it can stay, so I might make it a permanent part of the greenhouse. And these are usually covered in uh, pink 
like leaves all the way around so it looks like pink flowers. However, because our temperatures have been dropping, it's actually struggling, struggling a little bit and it actually dropped all of its pink leaves. Um, and then we have a star jasmine, which um, last year we did um, talk about our other star jasmine and we tried it out um, out in the yard not good in our in our region <laughs> in our zone so this one's going into the greenhouse as well and um, but I don't have a lot of room in my greenhouse and I need to leave room for starting seeds so I'm just doing certain plants and I don't want to do it all you know I kind of want to move everything in there but <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> so anyway let's I want to take you down the side and show you um, a real mess. <laughs> Are you good with that, Jay? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Come this way. Okay, another fu future project. Alexander's gonna show the way. Okay, another future project. You guys know that I, we've been kind of redoing this side back here. Um, so that I can have a potting bench right here up against the wall. Jay's going to make me a potting bench. And I have been starting a nursery. However, this also becomes the catch-all. You know, like, um, remember we found a bunch of bark? <laughs> bark mulch? Well, we couldn't pass it by, so we bought extra. And we don't really need it right now, but it's ready for spring, so we have it. <laughs> so we're ready right, right away in spring. So it's piled here, but it won't always be piled here. And then um, there's three rolls of grass. Um, when we went back and bought extra grass for Chance's yard, we bought us four extra rolls because our grass, I don't know if you guys noticed it, maybe Jay will do a span, like a span over the whole yard, um, because we didn't have much time for watering as well as we should have. And because we had thrown away like some um, bird seed and stuff like that, uh, or we threw bird seed out into the yard for the birds and squirrels, and it grew a bunch of weeds. So our yard is a huge amount of weeds. And so Jay thought, well, hey, we're already buying sod. Let's cut out sections and uh, <laughs> we'll lay it down and get some new sod for ourselves in some areas. Well, you can tell we had absolutely no time this year. <laughs> and uh, this is Alexander um, we had no time this year so that's dead grass <laughs> so looks like we need our own trip to the transfer station that will be going to the transfer station <laughs> yeah <laughs> but over here and I know you can't walk over this but maybe you can just uh, <laughs> point this direction um, what is this you say I actually have a little nursery here um, when I pull out stuff from my yard, um, like cuttings and stuff like that, or I'm growing cuttings or, or propagating things, I needed a place that kind of was um, shade, that I can keep them under shade until their roots can grow, or they, so they don't go into shock from me transplanting and stuff like that. So our idea eventually is as soon as Jay finishes painting, uh, which is almost done. He's almost done painting and I'll show you the front. It looks really good um, But he's gonna actually put a shade cloth that goes from here to here um, So I'll have my potting bench and then my little nursery and maybe I'll have a little sitting area over here That's a little more shady um, That I can propagate some plants and so this will be my little for whenever we're helping somebody out in their yard I'll have some plants in my own nursery that are free <laughs> that I can do. So that's what's going on over here. I've got um, grapevines. Um, Jay, you probably can you zoom in there? Yeah. To the back, there are four grapevines that I dug out from our yard, and those are going to be chances over the arbor. And then I'm not sure what this bush is called. <laughs> it's an evergreen, um, but it was popping up like um, when one of our branches would hit the ground, it would root itself. And so I got that because that's going to be some really nice evergreen bushes. Uh, we got some um, Virginia creeper. 
we got a couple trees. Uh, we got blueberries that I'm trying to get out of their lack of something. I mean, I have put all kinds of that blueberry acid mix and all of that, so I'm trying to get them healthy before I plant them anywhere. So I don't want to give them to chance if they're just going to do that. <laughs> but anyways, that's the idea for this area here, is that this is going to be a potting bench and a little nursery. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, I think, can I take the camera and uh, follow you showing your paint job? Sure. In the front, it's so pretty guys. He did such a good job. Oh boy. You got it? Mm-hmm. You got another peanut for Miss Fancy Birches out there? <laughs> oh no. Baby G. Baby G. Baby G. Baby G. Well, and then you can actually see our grass. See how it's bad. It's less than stellar, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, our grass is not good. Ooh, it's getting chilly. Where is he at? Oh, okay. he's over there. So I've got this done. We did that gray instead. I still have to paint the white on the eaves. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that done this year. Front is done for the most part too. Uh, that side I have to paint the wood over on the other side where Krista was just at um, by that shade cloth covering those plants. Um, I have to do that gray as well. But, uh, we're but getting, that's almost. We're getting there. You Let almost you have the, it done. Show you the front. Doesn't it look good, guys? Look at how good this looks. What do you guys think? You did such a good job. It looks so good. The uh, um, shutters are amazing. Yeah. It just, the whole chimney, uh, the front is pretty much done, I think, right? It's close, yeah. Yeah. I like the way the black shutters turned out and I'm glad we put them back on. I know we were on the fence whether we were going to put them back on or leave them off. I'm glad we put them back on and I'm glad we painted them black. Yeah. Let me back up again. <laughs> so let me right now put in um, a video of the before right now. Go ahead and put the picture of what it looked like before and now you can see after just a different house he did such a good job So what do you have to say about the paint? I'm you did it all with a paintbrush. I'm glad it's done. <laughs> it took me 14 gallons of, uh, I can't remember the, it's, it was a Duramax, I think it was Valspar Duramax. We can put it in the description. But it, uh, it was made to paint um, brick houses. Um, I watched a Lowe's video on how to um, did that and it took 14 gallons to paint the entire house on the outside on the brick and then also um, it took me I'm guessing about eight paint brushes Wow uh, two inch paint brushes and three inch paint no in two inch no I can't remember it was like a bunch of paint brushes <laughs> and everybody thought I was crazy for painting with paint brushes but it worked out great because I was able to fill in the nooks and crannies of all the brick because this was very porous brick 
in every little nook and cranny. So I'm glad I did it. I'm glad it turned out. So yeah, and it I'm looks glad so it's good. Done. For the most part, it's done. I got little yeah. touch-ups, but that's no major thing. So. Yeah, you should be proud. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad it's. Well, I'm glad it's not the color it used to be. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah. Break time. I'll put in the before and the after. Oh yeah. That'll be good. And then look at our coleuses over here. Yeah, that's crazy. It's gonna be sad that they're going. <laughs> well, even your potato vine out here did pretty good. Cause look at this. Yeah. And that's without any fertilization on these guys. Yeah, I was cool. not able to fertilize them. Um, I just didn't get time <coughs> to do everything I needed to do. But it grew so good. I have some daisies that didn't do good all summer long. And then all of a sudden now they're doing great. So That's amazing. Well, let's uh, go ahead and close it out in there. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to close out this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. Hope you kind of overlook some of our weeds and imperfections. But we're at the end of the season, and who cares at this point? It's all about to... Well, who doesn't have weeds in their yard? So. <laughs> it's true. Not to mention... Oh. I'll try to get her. Today. I don't have any. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here, throw a peanut right there. Here we go. Chili dose. Okay, we're back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? We had to take care of the squirrel. Okay. That's not what you're saying. <laughs> okay, guys. Anyway, we're gonna everybody start over. has weeds. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to close this out uh, because we are about to do something. And now we got fire trucks. <laughs> They've been running all day. <laughs> I know, it's been a bad day for yeah. fire firemen. Well, good day for them. They're earning yeah. their money. Bad day for whoever's <laughs> there. <Aww. skin. laughs> okay, guys. We're about to do something. I'll just give you a little teaser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you tell them what we're about to do. Okay, guys. So, now that we gave you the tour, we're about to do something really cool for tomorrow. And we're going to build a suka, which basically is for Sukkot, which is? So Sukkot is actually a Jewish holiday uh, called the Feast of Tabernacles or the Feast of Booths. Um, and we, the last three years or so, three mm -hmm. years, yeah. uh, we've been actually celebrating that. That's how we celebrate October. Uh, so I'm going to give you a little teaser of us uh, starting to build it. But I'm also going to link um, probably up here and or here, up here. <laughs> Somewhere in this general area. I'm going to link and also in the description. Um, we're going to actually do a full video of us putting up the suka uh, for my other channel, Finding Shalom. Uh, so you can go over there and see what that's all about. But tomorrow night, um, we are going to have our Bible study group over. And we did it last year and it was so much fun. Yeah, rain or shine, which looks like it's going to be rain, we put out the, the fire pits, the warmer, uh, <laughs> we have s'mores, and we have a big potluck, and we call it dinner under the sukkah, which is like a, a tent kind of, but it has an open roof so you can see the stars, um, and we're going to have a really fun evening doing yeah. that tomorrow night. So It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So I'm excited. Uh, we'll give you a little taste of it. That's not what this video is about. Um, but you can go check out uh, over at the other channel. You can check out the whole video on that. So anyways, for now, um, happy Sukkot, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and happy fall to everyone. Um, tell us in the comments what your weather is like right now. When is your first frost? Uh, when are you expecting your uh, garden to freeze, if at all? If you're lucky and you're in the south or... Um, in a warm climate uh, we are jealous <laughs> but at the same time we get to rest all winter winter and yeah. you still have to work in the yard so. <laughs> yeah, when it's super cold no one goes outside you can work mm -hmm. on the inside of the house then so yeah That's probably what we'll end up doing yeah so now before the storm moves in we need to go build the suka 
So we will see you guys in the next video. We love you guys. Have a wonderful week and be looking for new videos coming out. Uh, there's two more that are just about to pop out. Um, and I'll then be clearing the ground for yep. the uh, rototilling the spot for Chance's uh, vegetable garden, raised beds. Mm -hmm. There will be uh, the arbor yep. video. There will be the raised bed vegetable garden mm -hmm. video. So we've got at least three or four more. A lot of stuff coming up. So, oh yeah. Yep. So stay tuned and we will guys, we will see you in the next video. <laughs> see you guys. We love you guys. Jay, Krista. Krista. Say, Say I do forever. forever. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>